everyone and welcome to this video on chat gpt a topic named as dictation dictation is something which is going to save a lot of time and what is exactly a dictation let me show you on, on the screen dictation is something which turns your speech into text it speaks your thoughts and you can see them becoming a text you keep on speaking it becomes your text in the older times dictation was like you keep on speaking someone will write for you but today we have an assistant named as chat gpt who can write it on your behalf so what is dictation dictation means you talk the computer types for you that's a simple definition for us do you know that you can save your time in your life by just one simple change what is that change i'll tell you a story right now normally a person speaks 160 words per minute the way i'm talking right now i'll be speaking 160 words per minute but when i'm typing okay my typing speed is very slow i will type on an average of 40 words per minute there are people who can type faster there are people who can type slower as well but on an average the typing speed is approximately 40 words per minute and when i'm speaking i don't have you know hindrance whatever are my thoughts i can speak it continuously but when you're typing you keep on pausing based on your speed of your fingers so now we are going to switch from dictation what you call from typing towards the dictation that is speaking here by just one single switch you can improve your productivity by 4x 40 words per minute typing to 160 words per minute when you're speaking let's try to understand with an example here so when i open this browser here i have this chat gpt open okay the version keeps on changing it's not related to version so here normally if i want to type here what is the weather in pune okay so i'm just typing what is the weather in pune, pune here so this is a normal way what people type over here but when i put a backspace on the right hand side there's an option given as dictate so when i click on dictate what happens is whatever i speak right now it is getting captured in the form of voice notes and as i told you my speed is 160 words per minute that's a normal average speed people speak okay so instead of writing it you can give a prompt to this chat gpt once you finish you can just click on this button over here whatever you have spoken that speech will become into a text and this can become a prompt for this chat gpt okay let's try one example explain what is the example of explain what is photosynthesis and uh, explain me in just 100 words with with one real time example so you see even if i do not know the spelling of photosynthesis it has still typed and given me the answer so whichever difficult words you have you can just keep on explaining you can keep on uh, speaking it will convert into a value here you see it is giving in a faster way so if gpt is faster why don't you become a faster person rather than typing start switching it on the uh, voice mode which is dictate option now there are some things which you need to understand okay now onwards i'll always use dictate i'll not type and waste your time okay there are some commands for example when i'm speaking i need to give some uh, you know comma period some exclamation some question mark so while you're speaking you can just say uh, in, in today's day, comma, exclamation, question mark, when I keep on saying this, it will actually create these things. Okay, let me explain with an example. So I want to tell you a story, comma, one day when I was going to Mumbai, comma, I saw there was so many people around this area. And I said, what's going on? Question mark. Okay, something you can speak and uh, those things can you know you see there's a question mark which has come there's a comma over here okay and there's a full stop you see again let me explain one more time here act like a 30 year experienced person comma and explain me how to work in a corporate company full stop i am a fresher exclamation are you capable of training me question mark And you see there's a question mark there's a comma there's a full stop and everything is given and i can just click on this enter button and this will just go away right now so what are the different things which you can pick up these are the punctuations we have a comma period question mark exclamation mark open code close code colon dash new line semicolon new parent these are the punctuation which can be used in the voice commands now not only into this chat gpt but any software if you use let's say if i use word document okay that's a simple word document i can still use punctuation i can still use the voice command to type it okay where is the voice command you see on the top we have a dictate option when you click on dictate 
you keep on speaking whatever you speak it will be converted into a text you see on the screen it's getting converted into text rather than typing wasting my life into typing okay which is my 40 words per minute i will speak 160 words per minute and this will behave like my assistant i don't have an assistant but chat gpt instead of chat gpt we have microsoft word excel even in whatsapp you also you can put this uh, dictation part okay and that's it and you can keep on documenting and saving a lot of time okay that's it so these are the things in chat gpt the first topic we have seen is what you call dictation and it's going to save a lot of time i hope you have understanding dictation and voice command that's all for this video